because Ontario is actually um, excellent at convergent technology, so the ability to apply technology to other disciplines. And I think that's where we have a competitive advantage in clean tech. Um, if I look at sort of some of the trends that we're seeing in the burgeoning sort of interest areas, it's small wind power, it's everything's to do with smart grid, um, both from the residential right through commercial to, you know, HVAC applications and so on, so and all things in between. So smart grid is is a huge, uh, I think, growing sector, and ultimately we're seeing consolidation in solar. Um, and those would be kind of the big ones. And then, you know, anything to do with water, remediation, um, clean water, purification types of new systems for wastewater management, all of those kinds of things that have to do with managing the water supply, making the water supply clean would be the other sort of big, big area. I think from the angel perspective, there are a couple different types of angels. The, um, the angels that are getting more interested in the Canadian marketplace from a uh, investment opportunity perspective are those that ha are very, very, call them uber angels or super angels, so very high net worth, looking to put a million dollars into companies. And those folks are looking at um, strategic plays where, you know, again, I think they're looking at smart grid. We'll, we'll be talking to them in California next week about this, but smart grid solutions. Um, wind, but as it, uh, wind companies that are in revenues as opposed to still thinking about it. So anything that, ha anything that is in revenue that's looking to grow and expand has global implications, but as Canadian technology based would be their interest area. The valuations are good right now, so they're taking advantage of the, um, not necessarily the Canadian versus American dollar, because we're on par, which is good for us, but, um, but they're taking a, taking a good hard look at the competitiveness that Canadians bring to the table from an innovation perspective and the ability to help those companies that they invest in grow globally really quickly. Well, I mean, you know, part of the one network, the Ontario Networks of Excellence, obviously that's a driver. And so for Ontario companies, leveraging that network has obvious benefits. Um, we certainly in Ottawa, with respect to in the Investment and Commercialization Group, we work very closely with the angel groups. Um, I'm on the board of the National Angel Capital Organization, so I have line of sight to basically angel, angels in Canada that are making investments in clean tech. And so, um, so we are very target focused in terms of putting, uh, putting those individuals in front of the right companies at the right time. And that community is evolving and changing over time. So it's important that if entrepreneurs are trying to uh, raise angel money, either through first round or second round or even a third round, depending on how they want to go, um, that they stay connected to the network. Because if they don't stay connected to the network and to those angels, they won't, um, they won't have line of sight. If you're not in front of them, then you're not known. I think the one thing that is still a misnomer is I'm going to I'm going to come and see, you know, Michelle, and she's going to introduce us to somebody who's going to write a ten million dollar check for our business. It doesn't matter whether the VC market was full flush. There was lots of money rolling around the system. You still have to go out and find a customer. You still have to go sell it. So I think the big message is, if you're going to look for financing, you're going to look for capital, make sure that you are actually at the same time selling your product. Because if no one will buy it, then the investor won't invest anyways, and you're, you're kind of all for naught.